Hey guys, and welcome back to Let's Play Mega Man Legends 2. Alright, just a quick note before we get into this, um, I didn't actually do it on screen, but you want to switch over to the drill arm, as you can see there, uh, because it's just like it was with the first ruins. If you don't have the drill arm equipped, then you cannot get all of the treasures, so you want to do that, of course. Okay, so let's go ahead and drop on in. There's no ladder or anything, you literally just fall in. And this is normally where, where Roll would uh, tell you about stuff, but like I said, I already accidentally skipped that dialogue, so... Okay, so yeah, now we are going to be doing the Nino Main Ruins, and this place is uh, actually pretty annoying. It's going to take quite a lot of time, and there's a lot of things in here that will just are pretty much just there to slow you down. So, um, yeah, it, it is pretty much different from a lot of things we've uh, done so far, and it also introduces a, a new mechanic, sort of, in the Mega Man Legends series. So, it, it is a pretty cool place, I gotta say, but uh, a lot of it is really annoying, so... Alright, yeah, I'm just gonna pretty much skip all the stuff in here. It's really just a linear path. There's something that looks like a large cliff in the room ahead of you. I'm not picking up any reaver bots. Well, I'm picking up a lot of reaver bots. I don't know where your problem is. Um, okay, so is that the room we need to go through? I think there's only... Yeah, see, there's only one exit. It looks like there's a lot of different ways to go, but that's just a big circle. So, uh, obviously, this is the door we need to go through. And when we go in here, like Roll said, there's a large cliff here. So, um, let's see. Before we actually drop down, we can do some things if we have the jet skates equipped. Uh, first, we want to skate off and then go to the left here. Aim for the middle square. As you can see, it's kind of uh, the second square here. It's three squares wide, and you can uh, get into this little ledge here. And uh, then we want to uh, go to the left again. Oh, wow, get in there. And there's a chest here for 2,500 zenny. All right, good. And now we kind of have to do sort of a blind jump. We want to stand uh, kind of to the right of the chest here and uh, turn this way. Oh, well, didn't jump. Okay, well, that figures. Um, it looks like there's a door above you, but it's too high for you to jump to. Look around and see if there's anything you could climb on. Yeah, um, I believe that might have been the door we were trying to reach. I'm not too sure. Um, let's see, okay, this is the first thing we went into, then we wanted to get over here to this platform with the chest. And, okay, now, let's try this again. Oh, man, I didn't quite make it. That can be kind of a tricky jump, uh, but I do want to get in there. If I fail it too many more times, then I'll just go ahead and, uh... Oh, come on, get up there. These can be kind of annoying to jump on, but whatever. Uh, yeah, but like I was saying, if I fail it too many more times, then we'll just, uh, cut to when I do it, pretty much. All right, so uh, let's try this one more time, get into this platform here. I almost turned a little bit too much. I wasn't expecting that, but... Okay, there we go. Like I said, that can be kind of hard to do. You have to make a complete U-turn, but we want to get to the store up here. And, uh, okay, so now that we're in this area, let's see. I think there should be a drillable wall in here. This is another one of those cases where I haven't uh, practiced these ruins yet, so this is probably a, a bad ruin to do without practicing, but... Let's see, I wonder if Drill Arm could be effective against these guys. Well, if you didn't run into them, that might be nice, but... Alright. Uh, no, it doesn't really do too much, does it? Okay, well, that's fine. Um, okay, so now we need to uh, be going through the store to the north here. We've got another one of these rooms. There's a lot of these kind of, uh, like, square rooms here. where It looks like there's a lot of ways to go, but there's really just only one. Uh, then we want to come through and open this chest for 12,500 zenny. Pretty good sum of money. And that's pretty much all that we uh, came into this whole area for. Um, we're going to be going back out now to the... Oh yeah, this guy's kind of interesting. Whoa, holy crap. <laughs> yeah, so he kind of starts out as a little ball, but if you get close to him, sort of puffs up into that thing. So that's kind of cool. Uh, but yeah, we're just, just going to be heading back out to the room with the big drop-off. If you didn't have the drill arm, obviously you couldn't get that treasure. So uh, just another reason to bring it, I suppose. But now that we are back here, um, we want to just drop down and go, let's see, I'm not sure, is there more than one door here? I can't remember. Like I said, I haven't been through this place in a while, so, okay, yeah, I guess there's only this one door. Okay, so let's keep going forward, take out this guy before he gets a chance to do anything. And, uh... Okay, yeah, here's a door that we can, or a door, here's a wall that we can uh, drill through, and then we can go through the door on the other side. 
then if we uh, make our way over here, I believe, to the northeast, yeah, there's a room with kind of a trap here. Um, it's really similar to one that was in the original Mega Man Legends. Uh, if we step on the button, a lot of these snakes are going to come down and, uh, you know, cause us a bunch of problems. So pretty much don't do that. And we just want to get the chest there for uh, 5,000 zenny. Now we want to head back to that uh, intersection and go the other way. That was... Wait. Oh, come on. Get out of here, man. Okay, I got kind of turned around for a minute there. Um, like I said, this is a bad road to do without practicing, but oh well. Uh, that's what you get. Um, so we want to go through this door over here to the west. And uh, when we do that, there's another chest in here. And this is going to have the Mechanic Notes 3. And uh, some more stuff that Roll can use to make some weapons. So that's good. Okay, and now we need to go back. Um, let's see, not that way. That's where the trap room was. And uh, through this door. And then take the east passageway here. That step's really high. Too hot for you to jump. If there was something around there you could stand on, maybe you could get over it. Hmm. All right. Sounds like a puzzle to me. So let's. Uh. Oh. We can't pick it up. Oh well. Yeah, so that's something we're going to have to fool with later, of course. But for now, there's nothing really else we can do besides just go on through the door. And uh, once we do that, we can go down the elevator. Or go up. Okay, and in here, this is pretty much where we're going to uh, introduce the main mechanic of these ruins. Slow is control access. You want to flood floor B2. It looks like the floor beneath you is filled with water. Yep, so let's go on back down, and this is where things are going to start getting a little bit annoying, because once we go down here... Whoa, look at this, man. This is awesome. Yeah, as you can see, this entire place has been completely flooded with water. We move at like a snail's pace here. It's kind of crazy. Um, but this is actually why we... Uh, wow, it feels so fast now. Uh, this is why we got the aqua jets. Uh, hydro jets, uh, wh whatever they're called, same thing. Um, and that basically allows us to use the jet skates underwater, and that's pretty much the only way that we can move with any sort of speed whatsoever. Maybe something's changed now that this area is filled with water. Since things are lighter in water, you can pick up things you weren't able to before. <laughs> <laughs> Roll kind of interrupted me there, but yeah, without those uh, hydro jets, we're pretty much uh, doomed to walk at like this pace right here. That's so slow. But yeah, now that we have flooded this area with water, we can pick up the block and uh, use it to get over this little high ledge here. I think one should be enough, but yeah. Oh, wow. Can't quite reach it there. Um, there's not another block around, though, is there? I don't think so, anyway. Oh, wait, yeah, there is. There's one back over here uh, on this side next to the uh, wall that we drilled through. That's right. Okay, so yeah, we want to grab it and then make our way back. <laughs> Unfortunately, you can't use the uh, skates while we're carrying things, so that's just kind of too bad. But, uh, <laughs> yeah, and this dungeon is kind of annoying pretty much just because of that. It's not like it makes the dungeon, like, really hard or anything, but um, it pretty much just makes everything take forever. So, uh, make sure you've set aside quite a bit of time to do this. I unfortunately haven't, uh, because we're approaching the end of the week, but... Okay, well, there you go. Once you get uh, both of the blocks there, you can climb over the ledge and pretty much just fly around here using the Hydra Jets, which is pretty cool. Oh, and there we go. Touchdown. Okay, so now we've just got a couple more rooms to go through. This is another one of those where it looks like there's a lot of ways to go, but there is only one uh, exit, so... And, of course, I took the long way around. Go figure. Okay, and then now we've got an elevator here that we can take down. Oh. There we go. Okay, so let's go on through the door here to the next area. Uh, we will eventually be draining the water out of this place, but it's probably going to be a while, so... Uh, you also fire your buster a lot slower underwater. I'm not sure exactly why that is. I guess I don't really understand the science of buster guns, but <laughs> whatever. Uh, let's see if we can throw that. Oh! Slow motion collision there. Oh, oh, he's still alive. Okay, well... Yeah, and also if you get hit, you kind of tend to fly around a lot if you get knocked down. That can be kind of annoying, but... 
Okay, so let's go on through the door, and I believe we should have uh, sort of a two-way split here. Don't really worry about these fish that much. They don't really do a whole lot. Um, first, we want to go to the west, I believe. Okay, so uh, yeah, we need to be picking up the block here and then making our way through this way. I haven't really shown much of the room yet, but as you can see, there's kind of a button there, and there's also a very strong current here. Roll might say something about it. Yeah, so we kind of avoid these fish, which is actually kind of difficult to do because you can't move at all. Uh, but we want to get this block on that switch. Hey, there we go. That was a uh, <laughs> good shot there. Uh, but before we head into that area... Oh, well, that was close. Uh, we want to head over into this door to the east. And there is an elevator here that we can take up. There's a lot of... Uh, I don't remember exactly how many floors there are, but there's a lot of taking elevators up and down. This is actually a pretty big place. And uh, it kind of goes with... Uh, Almost any water-themed, like, area or dungeon can be uh, kind of annoying. You know, the Water Temple in Ocarina of Time comes to mind, and uh, there are, of course, a few others, like uh, the Lake Bed Temple in Majora's Mask. So, yeah, this is one of those water areas. But uh, here we can access the control panel to download the item data, which is good. And then we can also access this one, uh, Water Level on Floor B3 is controlled from this panel. Drain water from the floor, and we are going to do that, so... Uh, yeah, thankfully we're out of the water for now, but we're going to be getting right back into it before it's too long, but I guess we can celebrate for the time being. I also want to switch back to the uh, jet skates, I believe. I find myself wanting to use them, but they're not there. Okay, there we go. Okay, so now these fish are pretty much just all flopping around. They literally can't do anything, but we can use the drill arm to go through this wall here and uh, make our way through and through the door. All right, so, uh, okay, now let's see, where are we? I have no idea. Look at all this. There's, like, so many different hallways to go through. I really should have uh, taken the time to practice this beforehand. All right, so, oh, wow, holy crap. <laughs> I was not expecting that. Um, okay, so, yeah, let's see. I have no idea where we should be going at this point. Uh, oh, actually, it looks like there's just one exit. I, I, it's just confusing me with so many different twists and turns, but it's all just one big circle. <laughs> it's just kind of annoyance rooms, I guess. Alright, so yeah, we can take out these fish if we want. It looks like they only take one shot, so that's kind of cool. Um, let's see. Now... Oh, there's a chest here. Oh, wow, there's a fish in front of it. I didn't even see it. Uh, there's a chest there with 20,000 zenny, so that is cool. And, uh... Whoop. I keep running into the fish. They're literally doing nothing, but... Um, now, I believe... Uh, see, there, here's kind of another machine that would make a strong current, but since the water is drained, it can't do anything, so we can go on through. If we didn't drain the water, you wouldn't be able to get through there, so that's why we had to do that. And, uh... Okay, now I think... Uh, I think this is another one of those big things chasing after me, so... Okay, oh, there it is. Um, alright. Man, this, this place is like a freaking maze. I have no idea where to go. Right, can I beat it around? Alright, there we go. Okay, so it looks like we've got another uh, drillable wall here. You may notice that it's kind of, uh, like, cutting a little bit. There's some fades you might be able to notice. Um, that's because I'm kind of taking time to look ahead at what I need to do, um, so I'm not just running around here, you know, completely lost. I'm showing three for you, robot. Do you robot? They're big ones, too. Be careful. Yeah, all right, so that's definitely a sign we're in the right area. Roll warned us about this room here. So we go on through... And we see these things here. Alright, so yeah, these things here, um, pretty much now that we are... Oh, crap. <laughs> wow, that was really annoying. Um, yeah, since uh, this area has been drained of water, these jellyfish here are pretty much just, uh, you know, completely immobile. They can't move around unless the area is filled with water. Uh, but the things they shoot out are really annoying because they kind of home in on you. You want to try to use the drill on as much as possible, but it, it can be kind of annoying. Oh, come on. I thought I was right next to it. Ah, man. Okay, this isn't going too well. You... Okay, well, before we die, let's go. Oh, I forgot to uh, pick up another uh, picnic lunch, too. That kind of sucks, doesn't it? All right, well, let's uh, let's rethink how we're doing this here. Obviously, the drill arm thing wasn't working too well. I guess we're just going to have to take our time and do it with uh, the buster gun. So, eh, it doesn't take too long. It's really annoying. The shots do home in on you, and you can't really see all of them because they fire them straight up into the air. 
Alright, we about got that one. There we go. So there's only one left. Let's just take him out with this, because I don't really care. Oh, come on. <laughs> there it goes. Alright, it looks like we got electrified by touching it. That's kind of weird. Oh, well, <laughs> look how slow the jet skates are. That's kind of cool. Alright, I'm going to go ahead and heal it. We've got plenty of medicine bottles here, so let's go ahead and use it. Okay, and now that we've done that, um, instead of heading out that way, we actually need to um, go back, I believe, and uh, fill the floor here with water again. 